Hello, folks. I am back with the firearms comparison uh, today. Uh, what you see here are two of my favorite 1911s that I've recently acquired. One is going to be the uh, Sig Sauer Emperor Scorpion, and the other one is going to be the Dan Wesson Guardian. Uh, both, uh, like I said, are 1911s chambered in 45 ACP, and they are the commander length style which is roughly about the uh, four inch uh, barrel length. So it is, they're both made for uh, carry at, the, at this point. Some of what they uh, share besides being the uh, commander length, both of these are have the curved back strap. That's as well, or some people call it the V-Bob or the, or which I believe was from another company or the, uh, curved butt strap or whatever you want to call it. So they both share that in common, which helps in aiding for uh, concealed carry so you won't print as much if you're carrying it with uh, with you uh, in, under your uh, clothing or shirt or whatever, what have you. Uh, both of these uh, firearms, like I said, are very, very nice firearms. They're both very good quality firearms. Both of them share uh, front strap checkering. Uh, you'll see that on the Scorpion here, as well as you'll see that here on the Guardian. I think that the checkering on the Sig Sauer is a little more aggressive. It uh, protrudes a little more, but it gives you a decent purchase. Not that this one doesn't give you a decent purchase at all. Uh, both of these are, are stock, except for these grips were... Uh, changed out. These, these are the VZ grips. Uh, the grips here are a decent texture here. I believe these are from Hogue. Uh, and this is a standard from uh, SIG, and this is a very good texture as well. And they share also the Novak style night sights. And uh, some people don't like uh, the night, these Novak style because they like something that they can use to fire on on with a ledge or something like that so they can rack but this was like i said made for concealed carry so i guess they didn't want any snagging so i guess they uh both companies uh decided to go with the uh novex style of of, of uh night sights uh also yeah i'm noticing here like i said mentioned about the grips uh on the Scorpion, as you see, it has ambidextrous safety. Uh, this one is a little more traditional. It only has the one-sided safety for uh, for right-handed shooters, which means this would be on the left side. I noticed the uh, slide stop on the uh, Guardian is a little bit longer than your standard 1911 uh, slide stops with this. It, so I guess that's so you can... Uh, reach your uh, slide catch lever easily. Uh, this one has a unique one, which is not standard as well. On the SIG, it uh, the SIG has some a uh, couple differences from standard 1911s. Uh, well, this does have a uh, front serrations for those who like to press check. And this is also different because this has an external extractor. And this is also what you call a Series 80, which has the firing pin block. On the Dan Wesson, they tend to go a little bit more traditional. Uh, it does not have uh, front serrations, uh, but they, but it does. It is based off a Series uh, 70 design, which means, if I could do that here, as you see inside here, there's no, no firing pin block. And on the, if you look at the Sig Sauer one, the firing pin block is evident. You can see that right here, inside here. And both, like I said, are very good quality pistols. Even though uh, Dan Wesson is known for their revolvers as well as their uh, 1911s, uh, uh, the... Sig Sauer is not known for uh, for their 1911s. They're basically known for 
their P220s, their 226s, and so forth. They're known for that particular line. And they're really not known for that. But SIG has been coming up with uh, great products lately. One of the great things about this, or both of these firearms, they had no malfunctions whatsoever. Uh, the SIG had no malfunctions as well as the... Uh, the Dan Wesson, no malfunctions whatsoever, it shot flawless. Uh, these are the um, Wilson Combat uh, magazines. Now, originally, uh, Dan Wesson comes out with their own uh, magazines. Uh, the, that magazine I, I had a lot of trouble with. And by the way, this is a used firearm. Uh, the person that had this before me had the original grips, as well as two Wilson Combat magazines, with which was nice of him. Plus, he put in the one original. So I understand why he put in the Wilson Combats there. So it was two of them. Uh, with the Six Hour Emperor Scorpion Carry, it comes with its own uh, magazine. I forget uh, the company. I believe it is Checkmate that makes these magazines. And what I did was during my range session, I switched magazines. This seats very well. It works and, and it works flawless and, and with inside this uh, Guardian here. And it also, the of course, you know, Wilson Combat is also going to have a quality magazine that pretty much works with all 1911s. Okay, I took a little time to do a warm-up session before I decided to shoot both of these to compare these. And uh, this was the one target I used. This is a combination of both of these firearms. So this is, a, I would shoot this one, maybe shoot eight rounds, then switch over to this one and do eight rounds and backwards and forth. This was at a range of anywhere between seven and uh, ten yards. But I decided to say any, anybody can do fairly well at 7 to 10 yards. So I decided to push my limit and use a different style target than what I'm used to using. So I could uh, further do a little bit more of a comparison. Before I get further more into the uh, targets, I just want to explain to you how both of these feel when they, when they shoot. And I could tell you right now... Um, there is a little bit of a difference uh, here because the Dan Wesson is an alloy frame with a, with a steel slide. Uh, I felt a little bit more recoil and I also had a, I had to tighten my grip up and I don't know what it is with me lately. I haven't been tightening my grip up when I've been shooting um, lately, but I have to tighten my grip up and just to make sure I kept it under control. Uh, I've been shooting 1911s for a very long time, and and as of late, for some reason, I, uh, it, I haven't been tightening my grip. Now, the thing about this particular firearm is that when you shoot this, it has a slight, you know, flip. And it's basically, like I said, that's user error, I believe, on my part, because... I'm not using the proper grip. And like I said, this is a used firearm. Uh, I think one of the problems I had was when I was trying to trigger reset, it, this has a really, really crazy, um, uh, crazy short trigger. This short trigger is like, it's ridiculous. So as you see here, the, the trigger's back. I'm going to pull it. And that's it. That's as far as, as I'm going to pull right there. Now, when you reset it, this is your reset. That's it. And then you pull the trigger. I'm going to show you that reset again. The reset is going to, and listen for it. That's it. That's your reset. Uh, the problem with having a reset that short is when you are if you're going to use this as a carry firearm, uh, you're going to either have to either train very well to get uh, very good with this reset, or you're going to have to 
the, and thank goodness this does have adjustments. I can probably change the adjustments just to give it a tiny bit of thick uh, of a thicker of a pull, just a tiny bit, because I do like a short reset on my firearms. But uh, this one was pretty short because what the problem was, I would uh, shoot a target slow, and the next thing you know, I would let off easy so I can uh, get that trigger reset for the next shot. And next thing you know, I'm surprised by the shot. So that's not really a good thing. So I will be making adjustments. Other than that, it's a very accurate and very uh, good firearm. Uh, with the Emperor Scorpion Carry, it has a different feel. Now, there's a little bit of take up here. And let me just do that again. See, there's no, really no take up here. There, there are some, but that's it. But with this, it, I think the trigger sticks out a little more. The trigger sticks out a little more so you can have a little bit more of a length of a pull. And then as you pull the trigger and next thing you know, your shot goes off. Your reset comes short but it, for some reason, it feels a little different than this one. I I was never surprised when I was shooting uh, this particular firearm uh, at all. It, it has to be something with me not being able to uh, figure out when the reset is. I don't know if it's because of lack of being tactile or, or not. Uh, I will have to work on it. But at the same token, I have to apply a better grip on both of these firearms. Now, like I said in the previous uh, video, uh, pre um, I'm sorry, the previous target, uh, that was roughly about 7 to 10 yards. I decided to stretch my and challenge myself a bit. And on this particular side, this is all the... Uh, Emperor Scorp uh, Scorpion carry on that side, and this is all the Guardian on that side. Let's start with the Emperor Scorpion uh, carry here. This is probably the best group that I had. Like I said, I was playing around anywhere between 10 yards and 13 yards, so now I'm sending the target back a little further. And I thought I would do a little better. Believe it or not, this was my first shot. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know how I pulled that shot. This was actually the first shot. So it actually went way off. So I composed myself and tried to get my shots to go uh, centered. Uh, again, I'm trying to... Uh, now, I'm sending the target out a little further. Now, this is going to right 13 yards at this point. And the, my shots are coming in. Of course, you see the two out here. And then now I'm sending it out to roughly about 15 yards. 15 yards, I'm trying to adjust. I went too high and then over. And then you'll see this cluster over here as well as the three that are out. Uh, now let's uh, go over to where the Guardian is. Uh, the Guardian, uh, like I said, this is roughly about 10 to 13 yards. And here you go. This, this is where those shots were. Now, I'm trying to figure out whether I need to raise my sight picture up to, to cover up this whole section up here, or do I apply the a 6 o'clock hold? And that's what I was struggling with. Do I need to do a 6, six o'clock hold or do the combat uh, sight alignment? Uh, here, this is uh, around 13 yards. Uh, it's I'm trying to figure it out, as you see, but... I'm fortunate enough that everything hit within this uh, yellow area. And I did have one out on when I first started at the 10-yard line. Now, here is one here. I sent this out to 15 yards, and this is where I started making mistakes here. Again, I'm trying to adjust, and I hit these. I believe I hit this one on this target right here in this section, but... And then I'm trying to adjust and bring it down. Uh, as you as you see, uh, it's kind of funny that all the SIG shots seem to be going low, low left, if you look at all of these. And on the Guardian, it seems to be going high right. 
So that's probably something that's on my end. That's something that I got to work out. Um, like I said, this is a different target. It, I wanted to try to do uh, a different challenge at this point for uh, both of these uh, firearms. Uh, what I will say is what's interesting is at 15 yards, I have a, another firearm that I do a lot better than I shoot groups that are somewhere in this area. And that firearm is this one. This is the Legion uh, P220. Uh, it's somewhat like a 1911, but it's not really a 1911. So I, it, it, yeah, and it is a single stack, but I, I didn't want to put it in this comparison. I just wanted to mention real quickly that it does fit within this particular scope right here. Okay. Now that, uh, going through all that, you will probably want to know which one I would like better. Actually, it's going to depend on price. It depends on what you would want on price and which one. I happen to, like I said, this was a used one. The, the, I got this $600 less than what they originally go for because this was a used firearm. So it was actually came out to the same price as the Scorpion here. Uh, Dan Wessons are very good and very quality made uh, 1911s. Uh, there's If you get a Dan Wesson, uh, hang on to it, keep it. Uh, that's your baby. Uh, this does come in two other calibers, 9mm and 38 Supra. And of course, I mentioned earlier, this is 45 ACP since I'm a big fan of 45 ACP. Uh, this one here, this only comes in one caliber. Uh, SIG, what I like about SIG is they kind of expand their lines to a lot of different things from MPXs to their traditional, uh, not too much of a fan of their striker fire pistols, but they really done a really good job with night with their 1911s. Uh, I mean, with, if you're a purist, um, just forget about this. this it, you won't have a problem with this, with even with this uh, external extractor. Um, I used to be a so-called purist, but really when it comes down to as long as it shoots well, uh, it doesn't matter because this is a very good um, firearm. Now, which one would I carry? I would probably lean towards the, uh, the Scorpion uh, until I rectify the trigger th uh, issue because I don't want any problems uh, with with stress at that point. And the good part is uh, what I like about the uh, the SIG is, is just that it has a traditional slide. Most uh, 1911s from SIG, SIG are usually squared off. And you don't have to worry. A lot of people complain about have not having a rail, but more holsters are going to be available for the non-rail uh, dust covers. Uh, other than that, all I can say is you can't lose with either one. I would tell you to do your homework, do some shopping around, because as you know, these these both of these firearms are very pricey, but you can find these used at good prices. I see them all the time, even with the SIG Nightmare Edition. Uh, even, even these, I find these um, used all the time. Uh, I locked up with this one, but there are some Dan Wessons that are out there and you can get a better price than what they originally sell for. So with that said, uh, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching and happy shooting. Hashtag 2A.